G'day everybody, this is Australia Art Dreaming in Bundaberg, Queensland and I am Cathy Ryan. Some time ago I did a painting with some flowers on it and I was asked if I had done a video, which I hadn't, and this is the video to remedy that problem. <laughs> Firstly, um, I'll tell you the canvas that you're looking at is an 8 by 8 inch or 20 by 20 centimetre. It's totally dry. I put this background on it about a week ago. Um, paints. <laughs> These paints came straight out of the tube. They do not have any water or silicon in them. I have mixed them, the two oranges, and with some white. This one with more white because I'd like it just a little bit lighter and this one with a bit of gold just to give it a bit of sparkle. The two greens I mixed a blue and a lemon yellow together and then in this one I put a bit of white just to lighten it and the yellow has a splurge of orange in it. Now as you can see I haven't completely mixed them properly because I like the idea of them having different colours just streaking through them and, and when I put them on to the canvas they may or may not stay there, it doesn't really matter but I, I quite like the different effect. The brushes I'm going to be using, not that one probably, these three are the two rounded brushes and a flat brush. I don't know their numbers, I'm not really a brush painting person, but I grab this little round one, little dab will do you with the yellow paint, and I decide where I'm going to put my flower, so I'm going to have one sort of up here, and then probably a half of one here, and then uh, one in the middle, eh? Then with the other brush round, I get the darker green, sorry I just moved that, and um, put in the stems. Now I do them freehand because I don't want them dead straight lines and I don't know that stems actually are so I just get it lightly and run it down. Sometimes it takes a couple of coats. What I will do when we get into the tedious parts, I'll fast them up, speed them up, so that uh, you're not sitting here watching grass grow, flowers bloom. <laughs> On the little, this one, because it's going to only be like half of a flower, because it's dying off or something, I go like this. And then bring it around. Using the smaller of the two round brushes then I get some of the light green and just uh, dab it down. It doesn't need to be dead straight or anything. I, the, the lighting and what have you <coughs> on flowers it's never dead straight, so the only thing is when you're putting them on, because the lighter colour is a light source, you want them all on the same side of each of the stems. So I've started off on this side, 
which is my right, the others have to be on the right as well. I have a little jar of water here that I'm washing my brushes with which is a good idea and a cloth with which to dry them because you don't really want any water with these paints which I've probably mixed up a heap more paint than I actually need so now we start with these opened up flowers I start with the darker colour first and then this, the lighter colour goes into the centre. With the one that's folding over, I do it in opposite, the light colour first, and then the darker colour, because the flower is open, but as it dies off, it closes over, so you're actually seeing the back of your petals. So I think this one here is probably, the gold one is the best one to start off with. And all I do, is this just lightly tap all the way around doesn't have to be an exact circle and it doesn't matter if the yellow or the green sort of bleed in a little bit from there you can see how big you may want it because like this smaller canvas, I don't want the flowers as big as the original, which was a large canvas. So these paints have come straight out of the tube. They haven't been mixed with any Floetrol or any other pouring medium. They're just straight out. just little brush strokes and what I'm doing here is just basically finding out how my eye sees the size of the flowers are they too small too big you don't want to just start off doing humongous flowers on there because if they turn out to be too big for your canvas well it you can't get them off however if you just do them like this then you're only enlarging them slightly each time and I think this one can be a little bit bigger I think that's a, a bad even, maybe not. So the next step, wipe off the brush. Get some of the lighter colour. not much lighter I could have done better than that but we have it now
I won't do this big one here um, just yet. I'll finish off this one and then I'll show you how to do this little half one. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, not with that brush. Use this one just to put the yellow back in. little dobbies So that one's just about done. Now, on these half ones, as I said, you go back the front on them. So you, goodness, you start off with the lighter colour. And I just do this uninteresting just a poor things dying off and then I get the darker one the one with the gold in it Same one with the gold in it. And bringing them around like that. So you can see that. But on this one you would not see the yellow. So I just cover that. That was only a guide as to where I wanted to put the flowers. What you can do if you wanted, which I'll do here, is on the bigger ones, change them over. Nobody said you had to have the light one on the inside, so maybe we should put it on the outside. Oops. Come out. This paint uh, does dry fairly quickly when it's just applied as like this, which is why I'm not necessarily outside doing this today. It's very windy. And uh, where I like to do it outside is underneath the mango tree. Last time I did that in the wind, I ended up with half the mango tree in my painting. So I've learned not to go there because I know the rest of the mango tree, the other half, is still up there waiting for me to come back and I'm not going to do it. So we're on to the light stuff for the little bits. 
When this is totally dry, and I would leave it for, because I put the paint on a bit thicker, I'd leave it for uh, two or three weeks. Then you can just seal it with whatever you use. Whatever type of um, sealer you use is okay to put on here. If you'd like to wait until the end of the video, I'll show you this one finished. I'll put a little bit of yellow through these. Since I mixed up more paint you could poke a stick at, I think I'd learn. I call these chrysanthemums, but I actually uh, don't know that they they are. Although I Google chrysanthemums, and they do kind of look like some of them. I think if you draw a flower, paint a flower, call it anything you like, it's yours. And it went, oh, that's the green coming through. And I'll put a bit of yellow on this fellow too. didn't need that much. Uh, down the bottom in the comments, you'll see the little uh, show more. Please click on that. From there, you'll be able to find my Facebook page and some other links. You feel, please feel free to check them out. Come across and join our lovely group on Facebook. Please give me the thumbs up. And I think that's about all I can show you here. If you just want to wait a minute, I'll show you this when it's dry. So this is the finished uh, job. So far it's not dry yet, but I'll turn it around so you can see it. And I'll just check that I have it in focus there we go I'll see if I can get it in a little bit more for you maybe over a bit there's the flowers I don't know if they'll focus camera's trying. So that's the finished one. And if you want to just hold a second, not that it'll take that long, when it's dry I'll show you the finished dry product. Bye for the second or two. So it's been a little bit of time, but the painting is now dry. And finished and uh, I'll try to get it in a bit more it's really pretty
please uh, click thumbs up for me. Come over and join my Facebook group, Australia Art Dreaming. The links are down below. And thank you for watching.